Hi everyone! Welcome back to our Facebook Live again. So, for those who are already here, okay, nobody's here. <laughs> Nobody yet. Yeah, let's just wait for a while. So, for those who are already here, please comment something, comment plus one. Or anything that you want to show that you are here. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Oh, you want free assessment? <laughs> hi. For those who are here, say hi. Say hi to me and Vivian. Yeah. <laughs> Join us to get free trick one. Hi, Nancy. Okay, in a while, we'll start in a while. <laughs> I think. So for those who don't know, we actually, Ben Physio actually goes live every Monday and Thursday at 4 o'clock. We normally talk about health-related topics. Lah. So today, we'll be talking about a very interesting topic, headache something that most of us can relate to. <laughs> I believe everyone has had headache at least once in their life. Who here has never had headache before? No. Please comment. I oh, can't no. hear anything. I can hear. Can you guys hear? Can you hear anything? Where is my... Can hear, right? Yeah, I can. can okay, hear. I think we can start lah, okay? Mm. So before, before, I, uh, before Vivian begins, let me introduce a bit. So this is uh, Vivian. She's the speaker for today. And I'm Alfonsa. I'm, the physio I'm a physiotherapist at Ben Physio. We're both physiotherapists at Ben Physio. So, I think you guys can notice someone is not here, right? Mr. Ben is not here. <laughs> Mr. Ben is taking a break today. But I think he's in the comments uh, watching us. So, okay. So, for those who don't know, on Monday, we actually talk about this topic, headache, part one. Today, we'll be talking about part two. In part one, we will talk about the types of headache, uh, what causes headache, and some ergonomics to prevent headache, right, Vivian? Yes, yes. So today she'll be talking about the assessment and some simple treatments that you can do at home. Okay, mm. so before we begin, let's recap a bit about what Vivian talked about last, week, uh, last session. Here she talked about five types of headache that physiotherapy can treat. So they are tension, cluster, cervicogenic, migraine, and TMJ. So these are the type of headache that we can treat with manual therapy, such as joint mobilization, dry needling, myofascial release, patient education, and also home exercise program. Right, Vivian? Yes, correct. Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> and before I pass it over to Vivian, mm -hmm. today we are giving away another free physiotherapy session by, us, uh, by our senior physiotherapist. It's worth 140 ringgit. So to win that session, to win the free session, all you have to do is tag three friends, tag three people, your family members, or whoever, whoever experienced headache frequently, tag them now, share to them about this live, share to them about the free session. Okay, so if you are lucky, you might get a chance to be treated by our speaker, Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have to tag three people, and stay till the end of the session and answer our question, okay? Okay, Vivian, you can start. Okay, thanks, Afronsa. Okay, so let's start today. So I think headache is quite common nowadays. So I cannot say I will, can show you the test to diagnose whether you have a risk to get headache or not, but I can help you to do some tests to know what is the cause of headache and prevent headache. Okay, let's go for the first one. Okay, test one. So you can see the beautiful model. Okay, you see, can see the beauty model is 
very relaxed same thing just relax your shoulder and slightly look up look up as a as the model so if you cannot see yourself right just get a friend or maybe you'll get a mirror just beside you or maybe you just look at sight maybe your friend is trying to do this now okay so when you look up right okay before i start to uh, before i say a result i just share a story last time got one day right i i got one client come here uh, uncle so i asked uncle uncle can you please look up so i can see how much you can look up then i keep mentioning uncle can you please look up and then after a while i asked i i go to ask uncle why you don't want to look up then he tell me girls i already look up he, he actually he did look up you know but actually because of the neck is too stiff he actually doing like that his eyes is moving on it but the neck is the same right. position yeah the eyes is like moving like that the neck is not moving actually a lot of people have this problem one but you all no, don't realize on it like maybe i realized that maybe five uncle got two uncle have this problem it's very common nowadays so guys check yourself now look up yes Let, let's look up okay relax your shoulder okay tell us whether you can look up or not if you cannot just let us know how come you cannot look up ah? okay so experience we mentioned before right there are few muscle will cause headache one of muscle which is the spinous muscle which is this area okay so actually we can show you the picture how a spinous look like the red area okay so when you look up you will trigger your headache means uh when you look up right if your spinous is, is very tight or tense you will feel like you will feel stuck or maybe you will feel pain some people will directly just trigger the headache okay so mm -hmm. this muscle getting tight is because you always heard that looking look forward, forward too much. yes forward or look like down spoon too much yeah that's the reason mm. so he couldn't so, look up because of the muscle, la, muscle yes part. okay so anyone mm. only can roll eyes out please comment let us know so we know <laughs> how common you have a, this kind of neck problem okay okay so we will go for the next one okay test two test two we so call is side bending test so it's quite common you can see very easy if you want to test the left side right just use your right ear to touch your right shoulder okay so you feel any pulling or stretch feeling okay so both then, side pull it. Hmm. actually a lot of people both side also feel pulling but one side will be most like for example for me my right side is small my right side I will feel more pulling okay i'm not sure about others oh. <laughs> How about my others? Side both side, both side painful. Left, my left, left side, side is more painful. Yes. So according our experience, lah, okay. So example, you are left side when you stretch right, you feel more painful. This side will be have higher risk to get headache, ah, uh, because mm. this is one of our muscles to contribute headache also. Okay. Mm. So if you feel that. Uh, if you feel it trigger your headache or you feel it's very painful so you have to take note lah. later we teach you how to stretch it and to let go so you have uh, can lower down the risk to get headache so let's go for the test three test three you all see cha cha before cha cha how cha cha do cha cha <laughs> so it's doing neck rotation right okay so when you're doing the neck rotation so same thing you just turn your head to look like wait when you're driving you're also doing like that one okay so you feel it so for this one right you will feel the same side is stuck or maybe pain for example i have my left levator the so-called left levator problem so when you turn to a left side you will feel stuck you cannot mm. turn okay anyone have a left side to anyone seem like me left side cannot turn actually i realized right according our experience la, mostly people will have problem is left side that's because our daily activity because left side we normally were used to like holding something even in carry baby or you realize they will use the left side to carry and then they will use the right side to do things because right hand have more strength and response faster and mm. left side is more to uh, endurance that's the reason because both mm. side is different the muscle effector is different for the left side mostly will be most to elevate the okay okay let's see how others say uh oh yeah our boss ben lu can look up can see the sky yeah your neck is very healthy <laughs> you are very very healthy neck okay oh you can see actually he can right feeling neck pain when look up so which means he have uh, something wrong with his spinous 
So you need to take note about this one. Huh? You need to learn how to stretch it so that you won't have a headache later. Okay, and also can prevent a neck muscle pain. Huh? Neck muscle pain. Okay, so now three tests finished. Let's go to the number four test. Okay, this one very easy. Sit on a chair or you can, now you can just stand up and go to the wall. Okay, lean on the wall. The foot no need to cross. You can see the picture, right? That's how it lean. So when you lean, you try to put your hand bit, uh, at your lower back and see how much place you have between your back and your wall. Okay, so this is for you to test whether you have a lot of this problem, which is like your back is too arching. Okay, so anyone can put whole hand, go in. No one. <laughs> you so if you can hand. put, if you can put uh, mm. one hand, I mean, if you can put your hand mm. at the back, means like there's too much arching in the back, right? Yes, means you are too much arching, right? It is uh, not really good because as we previously we mentioned, right? If you have uh, arching, we have one case, right? Because of rhodosis, so-called arching too much, you cause the back muscle all tense up. So when mm. all back muscle tense up, you cause headache also. So that's the reason back, that you have mm. headache. Mm. Back arching contributes to back posture. Yes. Uh, mm. And then one that's thing a lot of people, headache. yeah, a lot of people confuse what is rhodosis and beautiful buttock, okay? A lot of people think that, wow, it's like if your buttock is very big, means it's uh, very strong and firm, but actually it's wrong. When you sometimes like your butt is look very big, right? And the lower abdominal is like slightly coming up. That's because you are very rotosis. So this kind of buttock, right? They are not firm when you touch, right? actually it's painful, okay? This one will have high risk to big get- butt low. Yeah, big butt, low back pain. A proper nice butt, right? It's round one. It's really very round, and when you touch, it's very firm. Okay, don't mm. simply go to touch people's butt. You can only touch your own butt, okay? <laughs> okay? So just a guideline for you, lah, okay? To roughly know why it's lordosis and well, how, how is the good buttock look like, okay? Mm. Okay. Thanks. So we finished the four tests already, right? Everyone roughly know whether you have a chance to get headache or not. And now we will teach you if you having headache, what can you do? Okay. So normally what you will do if you suffer with headache? The auntie, uh, uncle like to do this. No, no they, they, like, they, like to use, they like to use minyak angin. Oh, minyak angin. <laughs> Just to, uh, my, yeah, son like client, to yeah. my son can tell me what, can you please Vivian, take off my head? Then my life will be better. They will ask, just cut off my head. Then my life is better already. Okay. So yeah, we have to teach you how to just yourself can do what, what you can do at home. So let's go to the first one. Okay. First one is the massage time. Everyone like to do massage, right? As also is a bonding time. So if you cannot do yourself, you can. Get your friend to help you. Yeah, I can get Afonsa to help me so can improve our relationship. <laughs> and I will feel good also because people help me, right? Okay, let's go for the first one. So this is the first one. It's the occipital muscle. This also is a connect. It's very close to the spinous. So you can see the green green button, two button there, right? So you just touch it behind. Then you feel a two hole there. Uh, behind your neck. Mm -hmm. So you can see behind your neck. Huh? There is a two hole there. And then you press it. Uh, two hole. We do a ruban, okay? Let's see, do a ruban here, okay? So you just touch it, and then you just massage it, okay? So you feel like a bit soreness and a bit painful. Then you just hold for like, just massage it firmly with thirty seconds to one minute, okay? Some people, if you have headache, you may immediately feel the headache is relief, okay? Yeah, actually, when yeah. I have headache, right? When I press here, after I've pressed here, when I release, that I feel really relief. Hmm. That's why human is very smart. You always know how to help yourself, but you don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> True. Yeah. The body knows how to protect itself. Yes. So actually, why this all muscle, like I mentioned, this muscle will be painful and tends to cause headaches because your forward head, your poor posture, and you always look down. So you always look down, you will cause another muscle become tightened, which is your SCM muscle. So you can mm -hmm. see, I can't cheat. The muscle you can show up. Can you see this? This is the one. Okay, I should bring the something to draw it so you can see this is the muscle. You can see, huh? Okay, so just press it, same thing, and massage it. Don't press too hard, okay? Just massage it 30 seconds to one minute, okay? Then uh, there's a case that I teach my client how to massage it, then he pressed too hard, 
until the neck spasm and cannot turn the neck anymore like for maybe three days so please be gentle sayang your muscle just gentle muscles 30 seconds to one minute enough already okay so the next one i think i showed you all before in the previous the previous slide we mentioned before temporalis muscle which is this muscle always tense out when you're overbiting or crunch your teeth so seem very easy three finger just put here now nah, what's this in chinese call what this is tai yang xie, xie. yes tai yang xie. Just <laughs> press the then you yeah. feel it so Very when easy. whenever we have headache the first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll press this part of our head mm. so now you guys know law because of the muscle there there's a muscle that's causing your headache mm. but but everyone is doing that but i don't know why la. <laughs> okay enjoy the massage time now go to the stretching part everyone don't like stretching but it's very important so let's go to the stretching okay remember i mentioned three muscle is very important to cause like always cause headache so first one your supa so you can see the red color area there i already remarked that same thing put the hand behind your back just put like this behind your back okay and then pull your ear to your chest and to your shoulder sorry okay so you can feel the stretch feeling how oh, long should we hold it 50 second three reps you can do as much as you can because it's free of charge okay just do it and you're free okay it's very good for you so the next one is a spinous okay just like you already massage right so you need to combine with the stretching just put two hands together and look down so you will feel the stretch at the red area here behind yeah remember feel the stretch only start to call 50 seconds hmm. okay can do right easy okay this all is very helpful for you so your posture look nicer or you will be more confident also okay the next one levator muscle it's the same thing just put your hand behind your back and then the difference is look at your armpit so where is your armpit just look at your armpit and stretch so you feel the different muscle stretching so you can see this is the muscle that you're supposed to feel the stretch levator you will realize after you stretch right you can turn your neck better immediately so please stretch okay okay that's the three stretching okay now we go for your neck like this is a tree stretching for your neck okay so now we will go to the next part shoulder stretch as we mentioned in the pretty you can see right 1990 yeah smell a bit yeah elevator scapulas stretching we also can call it as smell a bit stretching <laughs> okay so this one just you can get a wall so you put your hand there okay put the hand at the wall so imagine i have a wall like, okay i don't have a wall if you don't have wall, you can just get a friend a friend put the hand here so that you all <laughs> push each other okay push each other it's have a chance for you to get a girlfriend also if you don't have <laughs> if you see a girl have headache you say come i help you to do stretching then you can do together okay so you just go forward you should feel the stretching here Hmm. okay 15 seconds three to five times also can okay don't over stretch i know like afonsa say what they like to yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah some really they stretch until bruise you know no need to do until that just we feel the stretch just hold that for 50 seconds that's good enough if you're in the office you can use another way just stretch like that it's okay okay don't shy, you can just do it in office, then your friend will follow you. You will be, be a good model, you know. <laughs> okay, so next one is a armpit stretch. Okay, it's a armpit muscle, it's a subscapular this muscle. Okay, so you cross your hand, okay, and then hold your thumb and turn. So you should feel the stretch inside. You can see, right? Like that. Let me let me show zoom you. Show one more time. Like this cross your hand superman eh, no ultraman ultraman okay. yeah and then just stretch like this okay so you should feel the stretching here okay inside deep inside is it is a bit no it's a bit hard okay is there any okay. simpler stretch for other people yeah yeah this one sometimes also can can remember there are some something some version is more easy very easy just lift up your hand and then stretch very easy right 
But a lot of people tend to move the head forward. No need to move your head forward. Just stretch like this. Okay, so you will feel the stretching here. Okay? Same thing, 50 seconds. Easy, right? And don't stretch until Koya, right? Ah, uh, no need. Uh, yeah, don't stretch until Koya. Okay, next one is so bicep stress. Okay, see? Bicep, right? Ah, uh, bicep. So big, so I need to stretch it becomes smaller. <laughs> okay, so the same thing, get a wall. Like, okay, I don't have a wall, so I get a tiang here, okay? You just put your hand and you go forward. Same thing, you can do lunges. Like, lunges mm. go forward in stand, standing. So you feel a stretch here. Okay. Show my bicep. Bicep, okay. <laughs> so you feel a stretch here. Same thing, hold for 15 seconds, okay? Then, you, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure our audience wants to know this, uh, the answer to this question because a lot of my clients, they'll mm -hmm. ask me, they'll ask me, how come my problem is neck, but you are, you are working on my chest and biceps? Mm. Is it related? So yeah, maybe you can explain on that. This is a very good question. Can we do a test first? Everyone do this. Round yourself and turn your neck to left side. You can choose turn right side also can. Okay, you try to feel it how much you can look at. Okay, now you straight. You pull back your scapula, the wing, okay? Make your posture in the proper posture and you turn. You can really see, right, my difference. Just now, I turn until stuck already, right? And when I pull back, actually, I can turn more. So that's the reason. When your front chest is too tight, front muscle structure is too tight, you cause the behind muscle lengthen, it's pulling. So that's why you will stuck. You cannot turn so much and trigger headache because all muscle here become tense up. Yeah, that's the simple how I explain to my client. Mm. I think everyone mm. can understand, right? Mm. Yeah, very easy to understand. And yeah. the reason why the chest and biceps are tight is because of our habit and daily activity, right? Mm. Yeah, it's because our habit and activity. Like forward head, poor posture, and then like... Get a computer. Yeah, like this. Do work like this. Like that. Yes. Okay. So now, stretching done. Finally, we go to the stretch, uh, strengthening part. Everyone don't like strengthening also. Okay. Oh, this is the chin tuck exercise. Afonsa like this, right? Afonsa? <laughs> Your favorite exercise? Okay. This exercise is to show off the double chin. Double chin. You know why she like? Because she's very skinny, she don't have double chin. Okay. <laughs> so now I show my double and triple chin for you all. Okay. No more three finger, two finger. Just put under your chins and go inside. Okay. Some people doing look down should not look down. Your head should be neutral. And you will see your ear actually is go the same line at your shoulder. And don't lean backward like that, okay? You will fall down before you finish your exercise. Okay, let's put it. So you do set 10 seconds. Okay, it should be easy, correct, right? Correct or not? Yeah, correct. That's the way. Mm. So hope yes, for it's easy. Yeah, 10 seconds. Then you relax three to five times. Or another version, you can just use a towel and roll, roll, roll your towel. Put behind your... This is for lazy version, like if you are very lazy. When before you sleep, you can do this. Roll and put under your neck. Then you just press, press on the towel on the bed. Same thing, just repeat for 10 seconds, okay? It's okay to have double chin. It's okay. <laughs> Not everyone has. Uh, yeah, like mine is triple. Okay, you can see one, two, three, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go for the next one. After you strengthening your chin, your neck, uh, neck flexor muscle, now we will go for, for the lower trap muscle. Okay, tower is so powerful. Any place you also can get this one. So as we mentioned in the previous uh, live, right, tower can help you to correct your economic. You can use it to become a feedback for you. Okay, and also you can use it to roll put under your knee if you have a low back pain. Okay. So now, thumbs up, thumbs up, okay, five, thumbs up, and then put like this, hold like this, I don't show you, can see it or not, just hold like this, okay, thumbs up, huh? so your thumb is pointing backward, okay, so what you need to do, don't ask your back when you're doing, so just start, start with fast twitch first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you should feel your wing is get closer, okay? So after that, you can go for the slow one. Just squeeze and then hold for 10 seconds and then relax, okay? Don't do your shoulder like that. Don't do this. That's not good. You should be just relaxed, okay? And pull. 
10 seconds, okay? This is for a lower trap. Another one you always can see at the gym there. Everyone like to go gym first thing, whoa, pull, just pull. Oh, like pull. But some don't know what's the function, they're just pull. Okay, so same thing, you just hold, okay? So you're from Y to W. Just pull downward, relax. So you will feel the scapula is get Move closer downward. to each other. Mm. Yeah. Don't do this, huh? What's this? Don't you spend want? your neck. Yeah, you will spend some your neck before you, you finish your exercise, okay? So just relax and pull down. You can just do like maybe uh 10, 10 breaths. First, same thing, you can just like fast first. And then after that, you can do like hold 10 seconds and relax, 10 seconds and relax. That's so easy, right? I believe everyone knows how to do it. Very easy, right? Okay? So tower, fully utilize your tower, okay? Yeah. Good so time to get... Yeah. Time, time to put a tower in your office. Yes. When office aircon oh, spoil, right? You somehow can clean your <laughs> <laughs> Okay? And then you, you have to remember good posture make you look more confident. It's very important, okay? So, yes. Next. After finish aggressive massage, stretching, strengthening. Now we go to breathing, okay? Everyone know how to breathe, right? Very easy, right? Breathing. But how many people breathe it correctly, we don't know. Some people don't know. They maybe breathe with their chest for maybe 10 years. Then they think it's normal. But actually, it's wrong, okay? So, yeah. When you breathe with your chest, right, the air cannot really fully go deep into your lungs, okay? It cannot go to the bottom. So, it's like your lungs is like that. This is your lungs. One side of your lungs, are okay? So, your air is... Go until this level only. You cannot go down fully. So it's mm. important to learn how to do breathing exercise. Okay, come. Breathing exercise, what is the benefit? Reduce stress, okay? And relax you have your muscles. More, yeah, relax your muscles and you have more oxygen go to your brain so that you easy uh, relax your, prevent the migraine also, okay? And then lower down your BP blood pressure and you won't feel tired so easily because you have enough oxygen to your body okay so let's start the breathing exercise two hands okay put one hand on your chest where is your chest okay this is my chest and one put on your tummy okay sorry show you my big tummy okay <laughs> okay so breathe in with your nose Okay, and when you breathe in your nose, right? Okay, again, show my big tummy. You see, I breathe in with my nose, then you see my tummy become bigger. Okay, then breathe out with your mouth. The process should be relaxed and enjoying. Okay, again, breathe in with your nose. Okay, you see, my tummy is big now, and breathe out. Okay, now become flat. Okay, that easy. You can do five to ten minutes. Just relax, or maybe before you sleep, or you have problem to sleep, or you stress during your doing work, you can do this also. Very helpful for you to relax your stress. And I, I think if you're doing, for us, right, you're doing like that, more oxygen, you have more semangat to do your work. Or maybe after lunch, you are sleepy, you can do this one also, okay? That's the breathing exercise. Yes. Hmm. And then a lot of people who don't breathe properly, they tend to use their neck a lot, right? Yeah, they will use this. You see, the breathing is like someone doing like this for them. They were using the SCM, which is the mm. one that we show you how to massage this now. You will become tense out and cause headache. Mm. If we overuse the neck muscle, it can also cause shoulder problem. Yeah, yeah. So it's important to know how to breathe properly. Mm -hmm. Another benefit of breathing exercise is also, you can also strengthen your core, right? As diaphragm is also part of the core muscles. Mm. All right? Yes. Mm. Okay, I saw Why someone you... comment. Tummy size look like watermelon. watermelon? <laughs> I just had watermelon yesterday night. That's why you look like watermelon. <laughs> okay. So last. come. So last one. Last last exercise. After breathing, we go to relax. Okay. I will just brief you all how to do this relax exercise. PMR. It's not exam PMR, okay? It's a how to relax your muscle, a process how to muscle. I will just brief you all. I won't show you all because I'm scared. I may fall asleep before I finish the talk, okay? Okay, come. First one, you need to get a quiet room or maybe you can just play some very soft music like the C music, those things. Or maybe you just 
quite just off light everything last sleep on your bed okay so the first one normal breathing first you can start with like maybe five minutes like the diaphragmatic breathing first and then you lie down very comfortable yes yeah the music should be sound like that very comfortable okay and then just breathe in and tense up your foot so you can just tense up your foot okay then when you breathe out relax good and then next one you will same thing breathe in do on your tense up your calf you need to close your eyes and focus and then relax relax your calf okay just repeat it you can see the 10 parts okay so you will go one by one you go for your feet first so after you go for your the feet and you foot you go for your calf and you go for your big thigh and then after that you go to your heat slowly go to your thumb stomach yeah stomach okay and then your back your arm your shoulder so it's like you when you breathe in your shoulder will be stand up then relax okay you make me feel a bit sleepy okay then after <laughs> that, go for your neck and last one go to your face okay so that's the exercise you can maybe repeat one or two times if you feel difficult to sleep you also can do this one or maybe you were having the migraine attack the time you also can do this one so this is a very good exercise okay so now that's all for me all the exercise if you cannot remember if you feel difficult remember try to win the voucher come for free treatment i will show you one by one in front of you okay what do we have to do what do they have to do to win take three friends and three friends only and then answer by difficult question <laughs> okay yeah. mm. we give them some time to tag three friends yeah but before that i will share what fisho can do if you have had it because sometimes mm. because you don't know what's the cause of headache right you keep doing all exercise to feel a bit so you can come for physiotherapy then you will do a proper assessment like more comprehensive assessment for you you will have mm. to help you to diagnose what's the cause for headache and then we will do treatment for you so you can see there are a few common treatment that we're doing Okay, you can see one of our colleague patient teaching the exercise. Yeah, teaching, yeah, exercise. You see, exercise how to use correct muscle. Another one is our favorite kneeling. Okay, you see. Okay, we cannot see the client face. I'm not sure she's enjoy or not, but I quite enjoy because when headache, I would put my neck myself. I immediately I feel relief. Yeah, that's why I like needle so much. So just poke and then relax. Sometimes you feel muscle a bit twisting. And the last one, this is our beautiful Afron star hand. <laughs> so she is trying to release the client muscle so that it less tense up, right? The headache will be go off also. Okay, that's easy. Okay. So mm. now, kanchong kanchong time. Finish that we your three reached, friends. Yeah, we have mm. reached the most exciting part of the yes. session. So what guys, don't forget to tag three friends. Mm. Okay, okay, so... What is the question, Vivian? Da -da 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 -da. The question is, list the one of the home exercise program that you can do during headache. When you have headache, what should you do? Beat your head like that? <laughs> Basically, whatever Vivian taught just now. Whatever, yeah. stretching, ka, strengthening. Ka. Mm. Oh, so can you maybe a uh, stretching you can answer stretching oh why we, why we giving answer yeah <laughs> <laughs> got answers the banner shows the answer so <laughs> good i see a lot of people tagging mm. let's see we're so kind we give answer let's see if there, there's any question yep. to be answered Let's see. Got anyone ask questions? Then we can answer. Oh, what is the question? The question is, we are showing the question right now. List one of the home exercise program that you can do for headache. Can you hear? Yeah, right. Stretching, strengthening exercise, <laughs> breathing. Anyone got a question to ask us? We'll give them some time. Lah. Uh, or you interesting to know 
how old is Afronsa? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So been got the right answer already. <laughs> yes. So actually, uh, next Monday, we have another live also from our boss. Our uh, boss. <laughs> yeah. We will talk about Kapatana Syndrome. I think a lot of people experience hand numbness before, right? Suddenly Especially numb. Especially housewives. Yeah. Housewife, so, office workers. So he will show you how to do, how to settle your numbness. Okay. Mm. Guys, answer the question and also tag three friends. Okay. Must do, must do both. If you only do one, doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Afransa, how old are you? Someone asking. Is it secret? <laughs> oh, that's secret. Secret. <laughs> secret. Okay, thank you, Vivian, for yep. sharing such an interesting topic, headache. I believe everyone really can relate to this topic. Mm. Everyone has had headache before. Thank you, Vivian. Okay. Thank you, Afonsa. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching. So, see you guys next Monday. Mm. Ben will be sharing about couple tunnel syndrome. Okay? okay. See you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.